Hello, 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 my fine looking people. Thank you for being here. I'm sorry if you hear a squishy sound. I am putting some lotion on my hands. I am rather very dry. Okay, before I begin, clearly you've seen the thumbnail, which I thought was exceptionally cute today, but I am going to be covering some stuff about Dawn and Candace, seeing how I am one of their favorite people, how they love psychics, right? Although I do, I'll be honest, Dawn, I know you're going to be watching. I hate that word psychic too, buddy. I do. Um, I, I don't like it. I would rather myself be called a medium or a spiritualist. Shoot, you know? Um, hey, but I've been called worse, right? Um, I will cut the camera on later on in the video when I shuffle some cards for y'all, but, um, everybody always complains about something with me. Um, if I, um, I don't know, it's either my hair, my makeup, my eyelashes, something. <laughs> it seems like anyways. But who really cares? I'm not here for them. I'm here for summer. Okay. So, but technically, actually, this video is not going to be a whole lot about summer. It is going to be focusing on Dawn and Candace. And um, I will put the link in my description. I watched the news channel 11 which is a local station here. And um, I just thought, you know, I was getting some downloads. And I thought, you know, I'm going to do a video. Okay. As you guys see, my disclaimer, this is all my spiritual opinion. This is not based on facts. Okay. Um, we are all here to find justice. Okay. Um, I want to, let's see, where to begin, Lord of Mercy. I sort of want to begin with some of the things that was said in the interview, okay? Um, if you're new to my channel, what I do is I link with my clients or whomever I am linking with spiritually. And I will um, write down everything and I will um, talk about it and then we'll pull cards. Okay. But um, I'm getting downloads right now. Listen, I hope Dawn and Candace does watch this because, boy, do I have a lot to tell them. Okay, they got a lot coming in and going out and going around and all about. And, you know, hey, this this is a freebie, buddy. Okay. Um. <laughs> anyways, I'm just teasing, Dawn. Don't get all pissy. Um, I know that, um, Seriously, I know how bad they throw off on spiritual people. It's it's funny. But anyways, all right, back to the news, Channel 11. Um, I had wrote a note here that TBI had said that there are no new details in the case, okay, that they can publicly release. You know what? Spirits tell me to cut the camera on. So, you know, if you don't like what you see, turn it off or just put your hair, headphones on or your earbuds and don't look at me. All right. So there are no new details. OK, now they did add the part publicly. Right. Um, so we'll look into that. Um, I've always felt that there have been a few things that obviously wasn't released to the public um, that they knew, but I don't think anything new. I'm not seeing anything new spiritually, okay? 
And I'm getting confirmation as I speak that. Um, Dawn mentioned next about Candace is really struggling. And I agree. She is. Okay. She really is. Um, but we'll get back into that here in a moment. Um, now, he said it was hard for them to get work here. In East Tennessee. All right. If you guys watched my video while he was in jail, I had released a video and I said that they would be relocating for work. Okay. Um, I, I already knew that they would. Now, is he telling the truth? No. Okay, now, would it be hard for him to get back where he was uh, with the same company? Of course, um, but definitely he could find work here, okay, um, especially now, all right? Um, But we'll talk more about your opportunities coming in in a minute, Dawn. Like I said, I'm giving you a freebie. Um, now, I've made a note here. Have they been working with the DHS in Arkansas to get the boys back? Well, I'm, I'm going to have to be honest and say yes. Okay. But there's a big but there. I am seeing that they're not doing a whole lot and a lot. Okay. I actually feel like um I, I feel rushed to do it, okay? Um, at like at the last minute. So it's kind of like I feel I knew the anniversary anniversary was coming up, or I knew I was going to have this interview. So I better call and see what we could do about it. OK, so technically, have they contacted them? Yes. OK, but I feel like they haven't done what they're indicating. OK, um, he made another comment, if you guys caught it, and he said that. Um, that they were scared of the house. Okay. Now, I know that he was saying because of the YouTubers and all that mess that he went through, apparently, um, with social media. Um, I feel like he was blaming it on that. Um, but I'm, I'm curious as to who they were who's scared of the house is the DHS scared of the house or are your boys scared of that house just saying okay um as I look into it spiritually though you guys um the social media and being threatened or whatever is not why these boys were taken, okay? And I know he had mentioned that it was not all of the reason or something like that. I don't feel like it was any of the reason. When I asked Spirit about the house, and they're, they're actually showing me the house, the physical house, okay? So if it was any, if it was anything that they were scared of the house for the boys, it wasn't that they were getting threatened, or it was because of whatever was around or how it was made or something like that. Okay. Like it, um, hazard or danger or something. Okay. Um, you mentioned that you wanted to buy a house in Arkansas. And I'm actually your freebie member. I am going to tell you all about that here in a minute, but I do see that opportunity coming up for you. So, yes, I do feel like they will. Okay. Now, 
are they going to sell the home here in Beach Creek? Well, I think so. Um, there's going to be some people. I'm assuming other family members have, like, there's going to be a quarrel over it. But I feel like ultimately, I feel like it will happen. But we'll get back into that in a minute, okay? Because there's something I want to say about that. Um, now, whenever he said that him and Candace just couldn't understand what had happened to Summer, And then the next comment was like, we have no clue where Summer is. I can see right through it. Lies. Lies, lies, lies. Full body confirmation right now. Okay. All right. I wanted to know. Because he mentioned that TBI talked to two of their private investigators, okay? When I link with them, it's strange because how I normally see a PI isn't how I see these people, okay? Now, I do feel like someone talked to TBI for them, but... I don't know. I just don't get a private investigator, okay? But I do feel like it was someone. Um, I, he had mentioned that Candace is just so hurt, okay? And I and I actually am going to skip that right now because I'm going to go into Candace here in a minute. But so I'm trying to go in order of his little interview here. Um, have they talked to the boys in the last six months? Okay, I've got some kind of energy there. Okay, so if he hasn't talked to them or if Candace hasn't, then I feel like they've had some kind of connection with someone in the family. Okay. Um, because I do see some active energy within the last six months, at least. Um, so somebody has. Um, again, he mentions that they were really working on getting the boys back. As I mentioned earlier, I have to say yes, because I feel like something just you know, so something, he had done something, but I am seeing such slow energy there, you guys, okay? Uh, so, Don, if you really want the boys back, you're really going to have to put more effort into it, okay? You really need to do more. Um, why didn't anyone respond to the news about the update on Summer? I was curious. Um, I know that they, the news reporter had mentioned that um, someone had sent an email that it was any um, changes. When I link, I first thing I hear, they're making excuses. I have a full body confirmation, I'm telling you. Um, I personally want to know why Candace wasn't on there with him. OK, um, I'm actually seeing that I, I feel like Don asked, I feel like he asked her um, or at least like, hey, you want to do this? But clearly there, there was a no. OK, but we're going to talk more about that in a minute when we talk more about them. Um. I really wish I had seen her because I would be able to see her aura and see like right through her. Okay. 
the way I'm going to tell you how Don's emotions were during this interview. Okay. I'm telling you, I did the first one I noticed was depression. Okay. So he is depressed. All right. But as he got more into it, I started seeing the energy of him having regrets. Okay, then he gets a little salty and then overconfident. Okay, and then there was um, something he was kind of skeptical about. I'm trying to remember what part that was. Um, or if not skeptical, more like, um, I don't know, just kind of smart aleck, you know. Um, now, by me going through Dawn, okay, to get to Candace to see her energy, um, again, this isn't going to be 100%. I shouldn't say that because I feel like it kind of, I, I feel like it is. But just like with any other case, you guys know. If I work directly with someone or with the family or someone can, you know how that works, okay? So I'm going through Dawn to get Candace, right? Um, her energy, I, I definitely picked up the regret, okay? And I'm going to, I heard not interested, not interested like she wasn't not like she just wasn't interested in the interview in hearing about it um anything that was I, I don't know I just felt like that was really something for me to hear was um I don't know that was interesting to me um I get that um she was suspenseful okay or has been um I'm hearing jealousy, okay? So I don't know why that comes in during that interview, why she would be jealous. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe she just loves her man that much. I don't know. Um, I wanted to see how do they feel about her still missing, okay? How does the Wells feel? And right away, I get the image that I get when I know that something is being numbed or blocked. So there's a lot of something going on, okay? As well as um, manipulation, okay? All right. I also wanted to see how is Hawkins County feeling about Summer Missing still? And, and this is as, like, this isn't just the sheriff. This is as a, like, a whole up there, okay? I, I was impressed because the first one I got was, un, like, just sad, unhappy, okay? And when... I do connect more to the sheriff. I feel shame, like a shame that they haven't found her yet. And I even get a sorry feeling, okay? That made me want to connect to TBI as a whole, okay? Um, I mean, I download. For the sheriff. I wonder if he's been having chest pains. I just got an image of him having chest pains. If so, he, he probably needs to go to the doctor about that. Um, okay, TBI. About some are still being missing or missing. Y'all. I got like this self-righteous energy, okay? And, but there is a part of them 
and I feel like maybe it's that the lady, I don't know, um, questioning, re-questioning something, okay? Like questioning herself or questioning something that had, had transpired, okay? All right. I am going to go into Candace's health, okay? So as much as y'all hate me, I hope you're listening, okay? Because like I said, I've got a lot to tell you, okay? Um, as soon as I connect with her, she probably is feeling extremely fatigued right now because her blood count is really, really low, okay? So she's a, a bad anemia. Uh, got, yeah. Um, I'm seeing some leg issues, okay? I don't know if it is the circulation or if it is varicose veins, but I definitely know there's some pain in her legs, um, maybe even her hip area. Um I'm getting her lower back as well. Maybe the back is causing the, the pain in the legs. I'm getting um, some breathing issues, some COPD. Um, I do feel like she's going to end up doing something to her shoulder. Okay. Um, maybe when she's hauling stuff, not sure. Um Also seeing some skin issues with her right now. Uh, it could be anything from shingles to dry skin, irritable, irritable or sensitive, something going on with her skin. Um, I do see her getting some new doctors that are going to be really helpful to her and for her. Um this isn't until down the road, but I, I do I see it, so I do want to mention it just in case she does watch. And for anybody that knows me and actually comes to my lives and stuff, y'all know that you know health is my sweet spot. You know, um, I am seeing um, Alzheimer's. Okay, so I don't know if that's like something in her family. But I'm definitely seeing that creeping in, okay? Um, I'm seeing some unexpected surgery for Candace within the next six months, okay? All right. Um, now, I'll go ahead and say this. Like I'll say it with people that come to me for health readings. I am not a doctor. That is my sweet spot, though. You can ask anyone, but I try to focus on what's going on currently, but this could be issues that you had dealt with or things that you need to look out for and try to avoid. Okay. So there's that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. All right. Now, what is next? for our dear Wales family. Okay, gosh, there's a lot and I just scribble. So there's no order really here. Um, I do see a new pet coming in. Okay, so I think they're gonna be getting a new pet. Um, I'm actually even, um, I'm seeing um, one of them lose something that's really important to them that is like um, your phone or, or jewelry or something like that. You guys are going to lose something. Um, I am seeing a family celebration. Um, I feel like there's going to be some unexpected medical concerns for either them or someone in their family. Um, with her having that unexpected surgery within the next six months, that could be it. But unfortunately, I am seeing that there's going to be an unexpected death 
that is linked to them. Um, I'm seeing a lot of travel for them. So I don't know if they're going back and forth a lot. Um, they are going to make a significant purchase. Okay. Um, I keep hearing something going on about the car. So the car may be tearing up or something may be going on. So they may end up trading it in or getting a new car. Um, but I'm definitely seeing something uh, probably about a home. Um, <clears throat> because with their finances, I, I'm seeing them make a loan. Not so, because actually, right now, I feel like his focus is money and job, okay? Um, it's like I see them, um, they go from having some, like abundance, to nothing, to like all of a sudden, uh, I, I do feel like people are being charitable to them, okay? I do. Um, I'm going to give you a warning. You guys have a, you need to re-question your friend circle because there is someone that is lying straight to your faces. Unfortunately, I do feel like it's going to, blow out and or come out and like something you're going to have a big blowout with some kind of friends okay um but the good news is i actually am seeing that after you re-question your friend circle you actually make really good friends with good people okay and these are going to be people that are going to be friendly and actually good friends. Um, they are not anybody from your past. Okay. Um, the finances right now are affecting the relationship. Um, I feel like one of them wants to part ways like every other day. Okay. But then the other one, I, it refuses to give up, okay? Um, it's crazy because I don't see any attraction there. It's very unrequited, but it's kind of like um, tradition or, or because it's... Um, I don't know, because almost like they don't believe in divorce or something like that, okay? Um, they do have love for one another, it, but it's just not the way a man and a woman should love one another. But I guess we all kind of already picked up on all that, right? Um, you know, I said that their money is going to go up and down, up and down. Um, I feel like money's okay right now because I see that they're going to they're fixing they're fixing to get rid of some kind of debt that they owe um because I see that burden being lifted unless of course maybe they're consolidating um I'm seeing a birthday that is coming up and um they're, they're going to be traveling right before or right after that birthday. And um, that's when the, the shifts in their life is really going to start taking place after that. Um, I'm seeing Don have a shift in his career. Um, as in, I, I, I see him going down like a different path. Um, maybe he's going to do concrete instead of whatever it is. You know, it's something like not 
huge. Like, I mean, he's not going to go be a businessman or a lawyer or anything. Um, but it's just a different path. Actually, I'm seeing a new partnership coming in with someone. I feel um, maybe two people he's partner partnering with. Um, <clears throat> I do see that they have a lot of negative energy around them. Okay. They are negative Nancy's. They Debbie Downers. Um, they're because they feel like nothing ever works out for them. I'm seeing or say or something like that. Um, there is some really exciting news dawn coming in i feel like this is more of an in endeavor or however everybody says it different than anything um this excites you though and uh, i do see that it would be a good choice for you to accept um after you take this opportunity, I do see that the relationship starts getting a little better and y'all ain't as negative anymore. Okay. Um, there is going to be somebody from y'all's past in your friend circle that I'm feeling heavy water energy, which is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I feel like somebody from their past is going to try to befriend them again. All right. Um, getting confirmation on this. Um, I certainly would not because whoever this is has a different motive. Okay. Um I'm seeing that whatever this endeavor is or career path change um, or partnership, whatever, Dawn is going to have to um, definitely learn some new skills for this. But I feel like he does. I mean, he may struggle at first, but I feel like he gets it. Um. I keep hearing a significant purchase of a home and a car, maybe both. Um, unfortunately, I am seeing that the addictions are still a daily battle. Okay. Um, I mentioned the family celebration coming in and a new pet. I do feel like there is going to be a medical scare concern. And I feel like it's going to be one of the two of them. Um, but I do feel like her health, once these new doctors start helping her, I, I feel like, especially after the surgery that she'll end up having, her health will start to improve. Okay. Now, let's just pull um, some cards just to kind of see what their energy is here. Let's let's just see. Um, what do I want? Let's just do these. Let's, I'm feeling these. All right, what is next for Dawn and Candace Wells, please, Spirit? May this be clear and precise, please, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me hear what I need to hear. Let me see what I need to see. Sense makes sense for Dawn and Candace. Okay, so we have the Page of Cups. Remember, I said that there was a water sign coming back from your past. 
with an apology of some sort, right? This is the page of cuts. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Usually, to me, as a reader, this is like somebody coming back to say, I'm sorry. Here is the Five of Swords. But their target is y'all. Like, Five of Swords is winning at all costs, okay? The Three of Cups is a friendship card. And look, it's in reverse, okay? So, with the moon here, okay? Secrets. So, if you have somebody from your past, do not be an idiot and let them in, okay? All right. So, what's next for Dawn and Candace? Let's see. All right. So, it looks like they're running from some bills or um, maybe somebody that they owe money to here. But, like I mentioned before here comes a knot of pentacles this could be that partner that i'm seeing with the six of wands six of wands is my work success okay or it could be some kind of something changing with work so i feel like whoever this is coming in is going to be the one that offers him something maybe it's farming you never know you know i couldn't help but notice that Justice was on the bottom here, okay? And with this justice, it's you can see, like, it's getting rigged, right? Um, but it's just a matter of time before that concoction just blows, okay? Just saying. Um. I'm seeing a woman, I'm seeing a download of a um, tan skin woman connected to them. Um, she's, is she helping them? Maybe connected to the kids. Okay, there's the emperor. Judgment. What's next for Dawn and Candace? Okay. Yeah, this is exactly what this is. Okay, so remember the last cards was this man coming in with Dawn and Offer here. Dawn showing up as the emperor, which is the father of the deck. He has got a decision to make with this judgment. And the Ace of Wands is basically an offer, an endeavor here, some opportunity coming to him, okay? Um, I will say this, if they even care to watch this, I do feel like if he takes this offer and I do feel like it'll be a good decision and for whatever reason, I do feel like that would be, I don't know, I feel like that is the path he needs to get on so things could be different and he could work on to get the boys back, okay? Um, I'm going to make a video about the boys on their own, okay, you guys? Just like I'm working on a summer video. This was basically about just Don and Candace, okay? Um, okay. So, here is the Ten of Cups, Happy Family, the Hierarch. This is interesting, Hierarch. But um, the Hierarch is also like, a, with this Ten of Cups coming out, with the Hierarch, um, that is like, um, this is, that opportunity is going to help their their um, union, their relationship okay exactly what i literally was saying yeah see it's like things are going to start getting better yeah money is going to start getting better and um, he might be able to um invest in things 
open an account somewhere. I don't know. Um, this also can be um, right here is the Six of Cups. I mentioned that this would be like the beginning, the, like the foundation of them going in the right path to perhaps try to get their family back together. And I, I see that the Six of Cups is all about reminiscing about your past. And it's like the mother here and she's waiting on the rest of the family, you see. So that's interesting to see. I feel like their caseworker is the um, the tan skinned lady I'm seeing. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think of anything to ask them other than just see what comes out. The Knight of Cups, the world, so the cycle. Okay. So basically, and I'll end it with the world because that ends a cycle, okay? The Knight of Cups, it kind of looks like, you know, celebration here, okay? Um, you know, and I see these people cheering him on. So maybe they're going to start getting their life together. I really hope so. And I, I, you know, if they're innocent, then, and then here's the world. Let me go ahead and say this. Um, the world is like the end of cycles. Um, but I see she's on a plane. So that travel, like I'm saying, but notice she is drinking. Um, You know, I really would love to um, connect with them and, um, you know, I don't, I don't want them to be in any trouble that for anything that they haven't done. Um, so, you know, with that being said, Don and Candace, I know you guys don't like psychics i don't really either i mean you can't really trust them can you um because you never know who's pulling your leg and who ain't um well no it or you should know eventually it will you know everybody finds out eventually a truth always comes out but you know um what i'm trying to say is, you know, I live in East Tennessee, too. I don't know if you know that. But if, if you really have nothing to do with Summers missing, then let me help you. Let me. Give me permission to go up on that hill without being worried that I'll go to jail. Give me permission. I'm asking in a friendly way. I'm, I, I will communicate with you guys. I will go with you guys. Um, I am also obviously the black sheep of my family because of my spirituality. You know, so at least we have that in common, right? You know, we're not all bad people, okay? And not all our intentions are bad. My intentions are pure. My intentions are to help you find your baby. And if you truly don't have anything to do with it and you want some good help, then let me. My number is scrolling. My email is scrolling. Contact me and let's find your baby. Let's bring her home or bring justice to her. Okay. Well, y'all, that's, that's all I've got to say. All right. 
love one another, be kind to one another. Let's uplift each other and pray for the family and pray for summer. Um, pray for one another. Y'all, that's all I got, okay? Like, share, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff, okay? Thank you for watching. I do appreciate all of you guys. All right, till next time. Bye, y'all.